So here's the clip. You see the little grooves cut into it? They kind of line up with the rings on the bobbin, right? Yeah, that's right. So all, all the weaver would have to do is get it somewhat in the ballpark and find someplace sturdy. And it's in there, it ain't moving. But then they would actually have to thread this whole portion by hand. And part of that threading process actually required the weaver to take the shuttle up to their mouth and tuck the thread out. So, you know what the weavers call that little maneuver? The kiss of death. Yeah? Uh, why do you think they would call it the kiss of death? And I hope your doctor's better than mine. Disease. Yeah. So, yeah. So, that makes its way into the factories of about 1890. Within, within two years, there's a huge typhoid epidemic in Rome. Here's the opening. So if you look through the opening, what do you see again? Now you can see the thread in there. So watch that arrow in the opening when it comes forward. And, and see if you can figure out what's happening, all right? So it's measuring how much thread's on there. So it's a depth setting. Notice how there's there's different depths on the on the bobbin. Oh yeah. So it's it's made to come in and hit right about here on the bobbin. So as long as there's thread there, every time that arrow comes in, it deflects it deflects back like this. Keep an eye on that, okay. and I'll manipulate the arrow like there's thread there, and then I'll shut it off. When that happens, you should see this move. See it? Yeah. That's it. So that in turn is deflected over here, which is going to engage these springs, which turn this. So if you meet me down there, right about here, I'll show you what happens. Okay, can you see the shuttle here? Yep. Can you see the bobbin inside of it? Uh huh. See that dirty, hairy one up above it? Yep. So it's, it's engaged this, which causes which in turn engages that. So that's going to act as a hammer. And what it does is it forces a new one down that pushes the old one right out. The old one gets pushed out, it runs down the ram, and into the baskets you see on the other machines. The new one takes over and it just keeps running.